Hi friends! This is Dainty Tank. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back to Please Be Happy. This is the demo. This is part four. You should play this game. If you haven't played this game, why not? It's free! Go check it out. It supports Studio Alien. They are great at doing what they do. Check out the demo, talk about it, leave a review on Steam. Uh, it's such a great game. <laughs> you should play it! Anyways, but I appreciate you coming and visiting with me. Speaking of things with me, thank you so much, just random person, for donating to my coffee account. If you don't know what the coffee account is, I gave a demo over the last couple of uh, playthroughs. You can definitely check it out in the links down below. But what it is, is it allows me to have a place where I can start funding things and getting um, closer to actually buying better equipment. So that way it's a little bit better for you, a little bit better for me. We're able to actually like build this channel together. So thank you specifically for that one call out. I really appreciate you donating. For those who can, that's great. For those who can't, I understand. Do what you can. Watch the videos, like the videos, all of that always helps. And with that, let's jump straight back into it. So, last we left off, we actually had Aspen uh, remembering Miho, which was a big deal. So Miho just ran away, absolutely terrified out of her mind, because Aspen remembers Miho, which is phenomenal. And we also got to know the mysterious Princess Charming's name as Juliet. Really cute. We're close to the end of demo. So let's just jump straight back into things. Lo Ooh, I needed that break. Back to it. What's that dude talking? What? Okay. Here we go. The view, which I admired so much last time, doesn't do much for me now. Instead, the city looks cluttered and confused from up here. My chest hurts from running so long. I, and I'm much more used to quick bursts of printing to get away from something or someone. I guess that's still what I'm trying to do right now. But I'm not too sure what it is that I'm running from. Whenever something goes wrong, my first instinct is to flee. Aspen remembering me definitely counts as something wrong. But when I stop to think about why, some of the reasons are obvious. Mostly, well, if it's not just Abs Aspen, but if everyone can remember me now. Or even worse, the people who forgot about me a long time ago start to remember me. Both could get me in a lot of trouble. My days as a thief would probably be over. There are some places where I could never show my face again. Smart thing to do is leave. I can even see a couple airships at the skyport right now. If everything with me, I could just go. There's nothing keeping me here. Oh, that's pretty. And yet, I don't move. I still don't know, even know what it is I'd be running away from. From Aspen? From Wellington? When I think about it, I have to admit that running wouldn't get me anywhere. This worry, these questions would follow me wherever I go, no matter how far and no matter how long. So then, what do I do? Great question. The only- ah! Ooh, sorry. <laughs> the only answer I can think of is the scariest one. The one that goes against everything I've learned. Mm hmm? Closing my eyes, I pictured the library. And Juliet's offer. I picture Aspen, whom I barely know, but who's already changed my life. Maybe I should stay and try to find out more. Maybe, j just maybe, being remembered might not be all that bad. Clenched my fist so tightly my knuckles turned white. The urge to turn tail and head for the sky port so strong that it's almost like a magnet pulling me there. I resisted, though. Slowly, I walk back down the mountain, making my way to the library. I'm not sure what to say when I get there, explain everything to Juliet and hope she lets me stay in that room again? Don't even need the room, could rebuild my den and hide out there, maybe in a new spot, the one that Juliet doesn't know about. 
Not having to worry about the weather or other animals would be nice, though. There's no telling if Juliet will remember me, too. If not, it might be easier to pretend this is the first time visiting and just ask if there's anywhere I could stay. It's so pretty. Such a pretty game. Even though I'm not moving very fast, I still don't feel ready for this conversation by the time I reach the library's entrance. It's only been an hour or so since I left the bell house, so it's not late enough for the library to be closed. The usual stream of people flows in and out of the doors. Okay, I can do this. You can do this! You got this, Miho! I stand off to the side of the entrance, preparing myself as people pass to and fro. My heart is racing the same way it does during a tense break-in, maybe even harder. My tail twitches back and forth. Usually I don't notice, but right now I'm super aware of everything about myself. Oh, Fighting off my instincts, I open the door and let myself inside. Oh, I've been expecting to have to look for Juliet, but instead she's right by the entrance. What surprises me most, however, is the woman leaning against a large desk beside her, Aspen, who's now engaged in conversation with a deep concern on her face. Uh-oh. Both of my interests! Right here! <laughs> I was there when I checked the bedroom. I wish she would have spoken to me first, at least. Oh. Barely catch the end of Juliet's sentence. She notices me only a moment after I spot her. And for a second, her mouth forms a perfect O of surprise. Ooh. Juliet? What are you... Aspen turns around to follow <laughs> Juliet's gaze and her eyes opening wide at the sight of me. Mio! They both remember me. Ah! <laughs> my brain goes blank. Rehearse the lines flying out of my head. Uh, hey there. I slink over to where they're standing, hands in my pockets, unsure what to say next. It's nice to see you again, Miho. I was hoping that you'd return. Me too. That was pretty sudden. I worked extra hard on that drink for you, you know. I freeze up, looking in for the words. Aspen's expression softens in concern. Miho? Oh, right, the drink. I'm sorry. Well, I ended up drinking it myself. So I suppose I can't complain too much. <laughs> <laughs> You made it even though she ran out? You're such a sweetheart. Like, oh my god, you both are cute. She laughs and can't stop myself from blurting out my next words. <laughs> you seem different. I'm sorry? Like, less polite? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I keep clicking. I shouldn't even ha have my hand there. Well, I'm not at work anymore, am I? I don't have to be polite to you anymore. Uh, what am I even saying? What was I planning on saying again? Will you be staying for a while, Miho? If so, we can continue this conversation in the dining room. It's a bit more private there. Thank you, Juliet. She sends me a raised eyebrow when I accidentally sigh in relief a bit too loudly. <laughs> yeah, this is cute. sure. That sounds great. I'm not gonna run away again. I'm glad to hear that. Right this way, then. This is really cute. Miho's basically being adopted. Juliet leads the way down the hall and into one of the locked rooms. We enter a cozy little room with a table and a few chairs, as well as a fridge. Three of us sit down, although I move my chair so I'm not too, so close to the others. Can I get you anything to eat or drink, Miho? I shake my head. I'm hungry, but I'm way too nervous to eat. Juliet smiles in response to my answer, which came just a little too quickly to sound natural. By the time, <laughs> by the way, both she and Aspen are looking at me. I can tell they're expecting me to say something first. Now the words I planned are coming back to me. What do people even say in a situation like this? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. 
temptation to run away is overwhelming. The door just a few feet behind me. My knuckles whiten as I tightly clench my fists in my lap, pushing myself to resist the urge. I told myself that I'm going to take this chance, even if it's the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm going to be honest with them. Um... Well... Struggle to think of what to say. Juliet waits patiently, her eyes gazing coolly in my direction more than directly at me. Aspen soon grows restless, however. Her expression clouded with concern. Oh, you guys are so cute. Sorry. I don't know how to just say things. I've only ever copied other people, so I... Aspen's expression clears up in some sort of understanding. It's okay, Miho. Take your time. So I... don't really know how to... talk... like... this. You're doing just fine. Oh. If you say so. It's not just talking either. I don't know much about anything. Well... anything human. All I really know about is being a fox. And all we foxes care about is how to survive. Oh, I love her so much! She is the sweetest little sentiment roll! It might be hard to believe, but I'm not a normal fox either. There's something kind of special about me. Kind of different. Mm-hmm, just kind of. I fingered the beads around my neck. Their consistent warmth and presence is reassuring. I would avoid looking at either Aspirin's or Juliet's fa face. What else? Usually, I have to steal to get by. I don't just have to, I like to. I'm good at it too. That's how I ended up meeting Juliet. And the reason I'm so good at it is because... I, I don't know why it happens, but ever since I got my human form, everyone forgets me. Even the people who catch me stealing from them. After a day or two, I can walk right past her face and they wouldn't even recognize me. No one has ever recognized me. Until Aspen remembered who I was at the bell house. Mm-hmm. It was such a shock that I ran away. That's what I always do. I was thinking about leaving Wellington forever, even though I just arrived a couple days ago. I'm still kind of tempted, but instead, I came back here. Great job explaining everything. Thank you for the communication. You are a very brave, brave fox, and I'm so proud of you. And that's it. Just hearing the words coming out of my mouth makes me want to die of embarrassment. It makes me uncomfortable when other people think about me. And yet, putting everything out there feels surprisingly good. It should. Communica communication is the thing. Communication is key. Feels like a weight has come off my shoulders. There's no going back now, and there's that's a relief in its own way. So you're saying that you've never ever had a family? Or a friend? Ah! That hurts my soul! I never thought of it like that. Oh! Nope. Never. And not since I stopped being a regular fox, at least. Oh. I'm... I'm so sorry to hear that. Ah, my soul! <laughs> Why? Well, because that's... Not to be rude, but that sounds rather lonely to me. Lonely, huh? I've never thought about it before. I see. Aspen sits back, still looking concerned. From the way she keeps fidgeting, I get the impression she wants to say more, but is holding back. <laughs> Juliet swoops in to salvage the situation. You have been very brave to stay here, Miho. I'm personally glad that you decided to come back to the library. I had your room prepared in hopes that you would. 
You're welcome to use it for as long as you'd like. I think that we could become great friends. Friends. I rolled the word around in my mind as if it were some strange food I'm gingerly trying. Is that a word that fits me? Is that something I could have? <laughs> it's never seemed like a possibility before. Is this a friend? None of what Juliet, uh, Juliet's offered me has. Right now, it feels like I'm standing at the end of one path and the beginning of another. I turn around and go back the way I came, back to the den and the life spent alone. I could turn around. I know that world, I've lived in it for so many years. But I can't just go back. Not now. Not when there was something more. Something new. Everything could be different if I just let it. When I look at Aspen and Juliet, I could tell what they're hoping I'll say. I think I'd like that. Oh. Oh my god, you guys are so cute! Oh, I love you both! Big smiles take over both their faces. Slowly, I let myself smile too. Well then, Miho. Welcome home. Oh! I love everything about this game. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for playing the demo. Please be happy. Love to hear what you thought of our game. We please consider taking our very short feedback survey. We couldn't do this without you. Take care, stay safe, and please be happy. Great job, team. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm definitely going to take the survey. You should grab this on Steam as well. It's free to download. Play it yourself. Have fun with it. And, you know, if you click through and hit the survey, um, then you can actually, like, help them out. Or if you even just download it, click through a little bit, and then do a Steam review, that helps them as well. Every little bit helps with supporting our uh, queer content on the internet. Um, specifically, voiced and excellent stories like these. Um, Really excited to see more of this. It's so good and so pretty. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, my heart. <laughs> I'm going to do that and I will leave this here. Again, you can check out the coffee to help support me. Uh, you can always go check out Steam to support these t this team, Studio Alien. They've they're just doing fantastic stuff. Um, links for all of this is down below. And you can also check out my new website, daintytank.gay. .gay. Um, I'm going to be filling out more information on that soon. So, thank you for all your time. Thank you for all your support. Really glad that you're here. I love you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>